Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spohr and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating some seasonal slimline birdhouses with this amazing collection of birdhouse seasonal die sets and stamps from Spellbinders. Um, we're going to do all four cards. For the most part, I lost part of my video for one of the cards, so I apologize in advance, and we'll talk about that when we get to the autumn card. We are starting with the summer-themed lighthouse card today, since it is summer here in the U.S., and this is such a fun scene. So what I found that worked really well for me was kind of die cutting the components. And you'll notice that I have incorporated some other dies from my stash to build a scene. I want each of my cards to tell a story. And to do this, it was really easiest for me to kind of go to my stash and find what is going to help um, the lighthouse what's going to help you know make it the focal point point. and so to build my background i am going to take this lawn fawn cloudy stencil with some simon says stamp barely blue ink and we are going to ink the cloudy sky probably about oh i would say just a little past half of the panel because the bottom half we're going to have like our horizon line some ocean waves some sand and then finally finishing with like some grass and cattails um, all of the stencil and the border dies are from lawn fawn all of the seashells and starfish and the birdhouse the lighthouse birdhouse and birds are all from spellbinders now to kind of help add some interest in detail, we're going to ink the sand with Simon Says Stamp Khaki ink, just kind of along the edges using a light hand to give it a little bit more interest and dimension. I have two borders of that. These were die cut using, and I probably did not leave that one out, unfortunately. It is the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hillside Borders. This is a border set that's been out for years and years, and it gets so much love for me. It's a great one. Then the next layer, there's two layers of this as well, plus then a background layer for the horizon line. This is the Lawn Fawn Stitched Simple Wavy Border. And we are inking that with some barely blue ink as well. It looks just a little different on the blue cardstock. All of the supplies I used are list listed and linked below. I am not going to be adding them into the video this time. Um, just kind of as a time saver, honestly. This is a rather, there's a lot of content. There's a lot of video. And you can grab all of that information in the supply list. For my cattails, I'm actually going to use some Simon Says Stamp Olive ink, which I love. It just kind of deepens and darkens that edge. That's going to be the green along the bottom edge, and then we are going to die cut the actual cattail part from some brownish cardstock. I think I used Lawn Fawn Paper Bag here, and we'll add some texture with our Copic markers. Now for the stand that the lighthouse is on, this actually comes in the summer set, but you'll notice that I'm gonna use these components in um, some of my other cards as well. And then I just added a little khaki ink to those pieces. So here's the die collection over there on the left side of the screen for the Build a Summer Birdhouse. For my birdhouse, I did die cut it from several colors of cardstock, and you will see that I am simply trimming parts of it up to add to my card. So I want the base of my birdhouse to be red and white stripe. I want the door. It will work. I am not going to have a working door on my card. The door and then like the top part of the lighthouse and then the very tippy top are all going to be a navy color. Just a nice kind of red, white, and blue. Definitely was going for a summer vibe. It matches the shirt I have on um, this day. And just kind of takes a little bit of effort to piece it together, but definitely worth it in my opinion. I love how it turned out. Really, really fun. And a really fun way to create a card. 
I love these birdhouses. So detailed. So you'll notice I have lots of scraps. You could even probably piece those together to build something completely uh, different if you wanted to. So now that I have everything trimmed apart, we are just going to start kind of assembling our lighthouse birdhouse. I noticed that I didn't trim something exactly right, so before that glue dries, I am going to pop those up. I love my Spellbinders tweezers. I use those all of the time. And there is even like the little light for the lighthouse. You can use the life preserver. Um, I used it to decorate the door. You don't have to. You could use it, you know, off to the side if you wanted to. Um, really cute. I tried to use as much of the collection as possible. Um, I think I used everything. I did. I used everything from this set. And again, this is the Build a Summer Birdhouse from Spellbinders. And I did a lot of little inlaying. And there's that little light die cut from some gold metallic cardstock. And I have all of my little bits and pieces over to the side. So you'll notice there's like seashells and birds and all that good stuff. We're going to assemble the borders along the bottom edge of the card. This is uh, quite a lot of borders, but definitely worth it. I use the Simon Says Stamp Slimline Rectangle die for not only my background, because it's going to, the largest die in that collection die cuts slightly smaller than Slimline. So Slimline cards are three and a half by eight and a half. That's kind of the standard. This is gonna be three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Uh, the panel we're, we're assembling right now. I like the little white border all the way around. I think it adds um, kind of that framed up effect to the finished card. And then we're tucking the stand that the birdhouse is sitting on in between some of those sandy layers. We're going to add all of the little bits and pieces on top. Um, we've got anchors, we've got some starfish, we've got some seashells trying to get away from me. Um, so we're just kind of group some of these things together and get a nice assortment of beachy themed images. We're going to adorn the top or right above the door of our birdhouse with the oars. I have two of those. And then at the top of the card, there's kind of naturally a great place for our sentiment, which we will stamp here in a little bit. This birdhouse collection from Spellbinders has a coordinating stamp set that goes with it called Tweet Sentiments. And basically there are seven different sentiments in here, so you can really mix and match. There's obviously the summer vibes, which is what I'm going to use. And I'm gonna pair it with a smaller sentiment from a Simon Says Stamp stamp set. I'm just taking some Copic markers now. I added some interest to the seashells. I'm adding interest to the cattails. And I really, normally, I would have colored some of these things before I assembled it. It was kind of a last minute decision to add some shading to my birdhouse because as I'm adding shading to all of this stuff down here, I'm realizing the birdhouse looks a little flat in comparison and it is the focal point. So I will be going in with my markers and adding just a little additional shading to it as well. Just have to be kind of careful, unfortunately. That's why I say if I'd been thinking about it, I definitely would have done that ahead of time. This little gold anchor is so cute too. In fact, if you wanted to, you could use that to embellish the door of the birdhouse or just kind of move the placement. There's lots of things you can do. And I've left in a lot of the shading and coloring just to kind of show you my process. I will not be sharing like the complete shading for everything in this video. I'm really sorry about the autumn card because I think I did leave a lot of that in. Um, just as a time saver today, guys, because I, I, it's while I use different supplies for the cards, each card, it is a lot of similar kind of technique. So up here, 
I am stamping Summer Vibes with Lobster Ink. Oh, and I do want to mention on my blog post, I will have listed out Copic marker numbers and things that I used for each card. So if you want that for reference, you can definitely find that there. So Summer Vibes, I stamped in Lobster Red Ink from Lawn Fawn. It's my favorite red ink for like a true red it's just my favorite. It has been for several years. I love it. We're stamping Wish You Were Here from the Simon Says Stamp Tiny Words stamp set in soft navy right underneath that. The inks match our birdhouse perfectly, which is what I was going for. And then we have a few extra little things we need to add, like the birds. I die cut multiples of those to place up in the air. And I die cut these from a dark gray. I believe this is Simon Says Stamp Slate Gray cardstock. And this helps balance out the top of the card. So remember I was mentioning um, naturally there's a great open spot in the sky above the birdhouse for our sentiments, but it's still a little plain up there. So adding those birds just really helps balance it out since there's so much going on in the bottom three fourths of the card. Now this is kind of where I decided my birdhouse needed extra shading. So we're going to go in with some reds and just add a little bit there. I'm not going to get too crazy. I don't want, I don't want it to, to accidentally color something I'm not supposed to. Since I've already gone through all the work of putting it together, I would really hate to have to start over. And then um, for the knobs on the birdhouse door, I'm just going to take these honeybee stamps white gems and adhere those right there. Lots of mixing and matching going on in this card project. I really tried to push myself to see what all I could use from my stash. Oh, and then the opening. I, I did insert that little soft navy opening in my birdhouse door. I felt like that looked a little more finished like the inside of the birdhouse or the window or whatever. I'm using the flat edge of my tweezers. Push that down inside. So next up we have our autumn card and this is probably my favorite set but I absolutely love fall so that's often what I'm drawn to. I die cut the birdhouse from this great wood grain card stock and you can see that there's like this little heart detail around the window for the birdhouse, which you can choose to die cut or not. What's great about these sets is they were designed to mix and match. So there's going to be like a circular opening in the spring set, I believe. And then in this set, there's a square opening. I hope I got those right. Um, and they're interchangeable you can use them with any of the birdhouses to really customize it how you want it to look. And this is the build a fall birdhouse, of course, and we are going to be using so many of the components from this in our card today. This is the card that I mentioned. So the majority of my shading, coloring and assembly for some, somehow I lost that footage. I filmed it and I lost it. And I have tried everything to retrieve it. In fact, I filmed this in May, you guys. And um, I have tried everything to retrieve the footage. And it's a no-go. So instead of refilming all of it, I hope you guys are good with, we're just going to kind of skip past the magic of video. Look at all these pretty embell or yeah, images and embellishments. We've got acorns and pumpkins and fall leaves and the beautiful sunflower. Um, also our birdhouse. I used the Lawn Fawn Cloudy Stencil again with the Barely Blue ink to give my give that beautiful blue sky. Our grassy borders, again, I went to Lawn Fawn. They've got such great border dyes. This is the uh, meadow borders, so it's a little bit big, bigger grass. Um, went ahead and did that for this card, and we're just tucking the birdhouse in between these two layers. The stand that the birdhouse is on, that is from the Build a Summer birdhouse from the previous set. Remember I said I used it a couple times. Uh, the next two cards are going to feature a different idea, but these two are both kind of on those wooden stands. 
and so you can see how it's so easy to mix and match. Now the shutters for the birdhouse, you can have them open like I did here. You can also put them directly over the window for a completely different look. I went with lots of fall-like color for my components. And there is some of the coloring still here in the video, so you can see kind of what I did. I, again, will list all of this on my blog post. The link to that can be found in the description down below. So if you are curious, you know, what marker colors I used for anything, that information can be found there. But I love this set. I love all of the sets. Um, it's really, really hard to choose. I'm just such a fall girl, and so this one was probably my favorite. I just love the pumpkins and the acorns and the leaves and the sunflower. I think they're so pretty. So something crazy I decided to do for this um, birdhouse, and by crazy, I mean kind of definitely crazy. I don't know. I'm trying to think what set that that came from. I'm not seeing it. There is, see the little mini hearts around the opening? That is from, oh, it's from this set. It's from the shutters. So the shutters have that teeny tiny heart and I inlaid the hearts in the shutters. So I die cut them from brown cardstock and then from red. I went ahead and die cut them multiple times. I mean, I didn't have to die cut where the sunflower is covering them up, but I wanted to highlight the fact that in that die, you get the illusion of, or the imp impression, not the illusion, the impression of a heart border around. And I wanted to highlight it and decorate the house. So I die cut all those little hearts. I die cut the shutter multiple times and then use the little hearts there. We're going to add just a couple more leaves and another acorn, I think, down here along the bottom edge before we work on our greetings. And also, I think the top of the birdhouse needs a little something. We'll add um, a little flower there, too. So you can see all of those red shutters from all those red hearts I die cut. I knew when I was doing it that it was probably a little extra, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like being extra, I guess. It's always funny seeing my work for um, like if when I film so far in advance and I don't get to the editing for a while, um, just like, oh, I must have had a lot of time that day or something. That's always what I think to myself. Now the greetings here, again, we're going to use a Tweet Sentiments greeting. There is a wonderful uh, fall themed one. So thankful for you. Obviously that's a gr works great for fall. You could always, there's a have an amazing day, be my tweet heart. Um, a birdie told me it's your birthday. So you can mix it up. Oh, spread your wings and fly. So definitely you do not have to make it, um, fallish themed if you don't want to. I did. Um, and I'll show you that here in a minute because I am going to again, mix some sentiments from not only the tweet sentiments, but also from the Simon Says Stamp tiny words. I really like two together like that. I like the little teeny tiny and then the bigger spellbinders. So, so thankful for you is going to be stamped in pumpkin spice from Lawn Fawn and hey friend from the Simon Says Stamp tiny words is going to be stamped with the Simon Says Stamp. Uh, khaki ink. And again, the base of my card, in fact, the base for all four cards is from the Simon Says Stamp Slimline Rectangles die. So there's lots of great slimline rectangle dies from different companies. You may have some, you definitely would not have to. Um, you could always just trim that down to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. And I love it. I love a fall themed card. So let's go ahead and get that on a card base and I will show you um, the summer. Oh, this is, I did forget. 
I am going to add that flower up at the top because don't you guys think that the top of the birdhouse looks a little plain? We have so much going on in the bottom half of this card. This is a great way. We're going to add a little teeny tiny flower just to add pull your kind of pull your eye up a little bit so it's not so bottom heavy with a slimline style card. There's so much room up here. You could really kind of go to town with whatever. And this birdhouse does not have to be fall themed. I do want to mention that. Say you like the style of this birdhouse for a, a Christmas card. Instead of the one that comes in the Christmas set, you could totally adorn this house with Christmas images, spring images, summer images. It does not have to be fall. Um, the only thing that's really fall is the extra imagery and dyes you get with these sets. So, you know, all the fall themed things. But don't be afraid to mix it up. The flowers, a lot of them could be used for other seasons. Um, as long as you die cut them from, you know, season appropriate colors or whatever, I don't see any reason why you couldn't totally mix and match. This collection was made to mix and match. And that's probably my favorite thing about it because it really extends the life and you can do so many things. I think I'm trying to get a few more of these little leaves. I always like to use um, some tweezers for the leaves, just kind of helps hold on to them or any of the small images because they can be a little tricky to grab onto and move around where you want them to go. And then I guess I forgot to add some shading to that. So we're gonna do that really quickly as well. And then we've got our slimline card base. I always like to score it really good. And here is our spring, or no, our summer and our fall slimline birdhouse cards. So next up we have Christmas and we are gonna be hanging our sweet little um, birdhouse from a branch. So this set actually comes with a branch, comes with some leaves and poinsettias and a bow. I didn't use the bow, but I love the bow because it makes a dimensional bow. Uh, bells, and then the birdhouse is gorgeous. It's got like this swirl design to it. So this time I did start with a um, slimline panel, just like before. This is the Simon Says Stamp Slimline Nested Rectangle, the largest size, so three and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. And we are going to ink darker up at the top and lighter down at the bottom. One shade, this is the Hero Arts Blue Hawaii Reactive Ink. Wouldn't have to be a reactive ink. I just particularly love this color. Reactive ink simply if you have are not familiar, it's going to be a lot like your distress inks. So they react with water. That's why they're called reactive. I'm not using water today, but you definitely could if you wanted to. And I'm going to just kind of lighten my hand up down near the bottom for that beautiful ombre effect. And then as I've applied the color, I can go back over and kind of deepen and darken and kind of smooth out some of those areas. It will smooth out a bit as it dries. I will tell you too, this panel had to be redone. I actually added glue to a component of the birdhouse and dropped it right on the background. I should have moved the background out of the way. Lesson learned. I like to tell you guys this stuff. I did cut it out of the video to make it shorter, but I dropped it on the background and uh, the glue reacted with the ink and left a nasty smudge along the edge that I just could not fix. But I digress. So we're going to take this awesome large falling snow slimline stencil, which is made more for a landscape style um, slimline card, but I like it so much I just used it for this. We're just using a portion. I really only want that snow up at the top. It seems so funny. It's like 98 degrees here today to talk about a snow card, but it is the season. No pun intended. Uh, fall, Halloween, and Christmas is coming in hot and heavy, guys. So 
definitely kind of ready for, I, I don't know if I'm ready, but we're getting started with our holiday crafting and card making. So this is the birdhouse I was talking about. See that swirl design? And it has the beautiful rounded shape. It's gorgeous, but there is truly nothing about this house that says it has to be Christmas. So if you like the shape of this house and you would rather use it for fall, wouldn't that be a pretty fall birdhouse? or spring or summer. You guys, you can use it for any of that. I did die cut mine from smooth white cardstock. Um, I just wanted that nice traditional clean white against the bright blue and the falling snow background. And then gray, a dark gray. This is some slate gray cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. And we're going to put the roof, roof, sorry, of the birdhouse on and then um, that is what I was gluing where I ruined my background, but you know, it's all good. And then we're going to decorate with a little poinsettia and some greenery along kind of the right bottom edge of our birdhouse. And then remember, I'm gonna be hanging this from a branch. So it's gonna go in the upper part of the card. My previous two cards, I featured kind of the birdhouse and all of the stuff happening more um, in the bottom since it was sticking on a, a wooden stake in the ground, let's say. Um, these are hanging, so our sentiments are going to be below instead of above. So just kind of naturally where that tends to fall. And if you wonder why I have some of that repositionable tape on my hand, sometimes I put it there. Um, when I'm using it a lot, I'll put it there, but also it helps make it a little less sticky, the oil on my hands. And so I stick it there until I use it again. We're just gonna put a little twine through the bells. I did die cut two bells. We're embellishing them with some little gold accents. And then I have that twine there that we're just gonna disguise back behind the birdhouse so it appears that they're hanging from the bottom of the birdhouse. It's just a fun little embellishment tool. So I'm just kind of seeing how I want these to go. I put foam adhesive on the back of them. This is one card, in fact, the next two cards, the hanging cards, they are both going to be adhered with foam adhesive. I did not do that on the previous two. I glued them directly to the card base. But something else different about this one, we are going to be using the Sweet Birds on a Branch, which coordinates with our birdhouses. So this collection actually has five die skews. Um, it has fall, winter, summer, and spring birdhouse collections. The birds, and then it has the sixth skew is the Tweet Sentiment stamp set that goes with this. And this is a card that I'm actually not going to use any other uh, sentiment stamp sets. I'm not going to pair anything else with it. We're going to use wishing you a fun holiday season from that tweet sentiments right down there below the bells. You can see I've kind of already laid it out planning what I'm going to do. Here is my branch with those beautiful green leaves. The detail in the die cuts are gorgeous. And then you add a little ink to them, a little marker, and it looks so good. So that little inside of the birdhouse was from some slate gray cardstock. I'm just going to tuck that down inside. I think this especially looks good when you pop up the birdhouse. And then we're adding all the rest of our details for our bells. And then the bird, again, remember, he's going to be from Sweet Birds on a Branch. And I think he's my favorite from this. So there are five like side facing birds in this collection. And then this little guy who's kind of a front facing bird, which I think you can use him on anything kind of peeking out of the bird houses, which I think is fun. And I'm just adding little extra details here and there. Um, little red berries to our branch. Anything we can do to add extra is what I want to do here. And then I'm adding a little glossy accents on the berries so they're glossy. Also to the center of my poinsettia. I like have a little glossy there and I don't know did I mention that I put the snow on the house that's some white glitter cardstock so it looks glittery and here's the bird we're gonna use and he's just trimmed out a couple 
out of a couple of shades of blue cardstock, um, little gold beak. He's cute. I really like him. And then we're just gonna, you know, finish with his eyes, beak. I did draw in some, I say his, I kind of gave him some eyelashes. Maybe it's a little female birdie. Um, and then we're going to stamp and emboss our sentiment down below the bells. That's going to be stamped with a clear embossing ink and heat embossed with white, or not white, gold embossing powder. And then this is going to be popped onto a white slimline card base just like before. I added a little white pen detail to my bird. I didn't really add any extra shading here. Um, I added shading to the greenery and to the poinsettia, but not to the house. Um, not to the bells, even though I guess I could have, but I didn't. Um, and I didn't add any to the bird, but I gave him some little white, her, I keep saying him, maybe it's her, uh, little white spotted spots on the belly, um, little trios of white spots on the cheeks, and then I did draw in some little eyelashes with a very, very fine tipped pen. And that is going to wrap up our winter card. So finally, we have our build a spring birdhouse. This one, I would say, has more of a um, whimsical feel to it, a little less perfect. And it also has gorgeous embossing along, just like all of them. It has some really cool embossing that I decided to add some custom coloring to. And then it's got a couple options. There's like a nest, which the birds fit in perfectly. There's a branch, um, eggs, and then the little fence. So I kind of decided to do the fence route with flowers. And then we're going to, again, have this hanging from a branch. This is more of a spring branch, obviously, than winter. And it's going to have a little bird tucked up there. But first we got to get our background colors. And I wanted something very bright and happy. Um, and kind of definitely with a spring flare and feel to it. We're going to ink our background with Lawn Fawn Guava and um, Apricot inks. I really love a good pinky, peachy pink and orange together. I think they're really pretty. And once we have them ink blended, there is this gorgeous oversized heart stencil from Simon Says Stamp. It's been out for um, a while. I love it. Um, it creates just these big, beautiful hearts. There's a smaller slimline version now, but this is the oversized version. And we're just gonna ink over them with the same colors of ink using a little heavier hand for this subtle background. And I just kind of want to blend those colors. So there is our background. Um, and then we're just kind of going to build our birdhouse. I know I had tried a different uh, color combination first before I did that background. That's why it was sitting there on my table and I didn't like it. So this is what we're going to go with. Um, white base gray roof and base for our birdhouse and then taking some Copic markers and just really tracing the leaves and floral designs. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I did try to take my time with this. I love how it turned out. And this could really be done on any of the birdhouses if you wanted to. Um, you can take a marker or colored pencil or whatever coloring medium you like and customize it. So the little flowers and leaves, I believe I used some of these on the autumn card. They are actually from this set. There's quite a few leaves. Um, like I said, the egg, the nest, a branch, a different branch than the Christmas set and the fence and then the flowers. And these little bitty flowers, Spellbinders does the best little bitty flowers. These are going to be amazing to decorate any of the cards. I use them on that fall card, and then I'm going to use quite a few of them on this card as well. 
And then see that pretty little scallop design around the opening? Oh, I do want to mention that heart opening. So remember, you can intermix. There's the heart opening. That's from the Christmas set, the winter Christmas set. Um, the circular opening, which is from the spring set. And the square opening, which is from the fall set. So these will work with any of the birdhouses. You can customize it. I obviously went with the heart because it really matches the background I made. Um, and then it matches that little heart up at the top of the house. And kind of ignore the Christmas background here. Obviously that house doesn't go on the Christmas card. Um, I was just checking it out. This is a little out of order. Okay on the leaves, adding a little quick, quick coloring to add some shading. Um, I don't think I added it. No, I did not add it to my little flowers, but I did add it to the greenery. I think it adds a little something. I think the bird and leaves are the only things on this card I added some Copic coloring to. And we will be combining some stamps. Uh, we're going to use a Tweet Sentiments stamp, but we're also going to use a little Tiny Words phrase from the Tiny Words birthday set from Simon underneath that because I really, like I said, I love to have lots of sentiment on my card. And I'm going to build the branch first, so I'm adding all the greenery here to my branch. I love a good branch. This might be my new favorite. I really, really like this one. I could see using this for lots of cards. And I do want to mention, while I use the birds with these birdhouse sets, if you love a good bird set, you definitely can use the birds without um, any of these sets. They are just, they work really nicely because obviously there's branches and nests and birdhouses and all of the great stuff if you want to do scene building. I am going to put this cute little fence right here along the bottom edge of my birdhouse. I love that. And this birdhouse again is going to be popped up. And I am adding some little pink dots and that scallop all the way around. And fixing a couple little flowers. Now, I am going to use a little piece of twine. I'm going to wrap it around the branch and then I'm going to secure it to the back of my birdhouse with some foam adhesive. That's how I'm going to get it to appear to be hanging from the branch with this little twine hanger. And I'm going to put that foam adhesive square right behind the heart, which I really should have put the string there first, but that's going to serve as a great way to secure the heart then to, which I've already inlaid it. And I did lift up the foam adhesive and stick that s string underneath. Here is our little bird. I picked a right facing bird. I felt that worked best with my card and he's out of red. We're just going to add like some red and white card stock. Um, a little bit of shading with our Copic markers. And he has a great little layering piece there for the belly. And so it the birds come with like the main bird piece wings or wing. And then like a contrasting piece for the belly. And then there also is an option for legs for any that you can add to any of them if you'd like. I did not use the legs today. Then just let's go back into the wing and add a little extra detail. And this is Sweet Birds on a Branch is the name of this die set. And his beak is not a separate piece. I just took a black or dark gray Copic marker and colored that in. And then we're just going to tuck him here right here on our little branch. Just gonna lift that up a little bit. That looks just about right. Um, flowers, 
um, sentiments and I think our heart in the center and that is going to be about it so we don't have a ton left oh the eye for the bird I'm actually going to use a gemstone for that you could use nouveau crystal drops um, you could die cut the bird again and inlay a little black eye if you wanted to I just used a gemstone I thought that was quick and easy little glossy accents on the hearts to make them nice and glossy and stand out a little bit there is some twine back behind the heart, so I adhered it with foam adhesive, so it's a little bit more flush with the birdhouse instead of um, inlaid down inside. The nails on the wooden fence, because there kind of is a little areas that look like nails, I'm going to take a black pen and add detail to those so that it kind of stands out a little bit more. And then I felt like the birdhouse needed florals and leaves to make it kind of stand out just a little bit more. So I've got a whole bunch of different little flowers and leaves things here. And we're gonna just add all of these. And just do quick green coloring for the leaves. And then this one, there, I don't know that there's really a stamp set in Tweet Sentiments that is super spring-like. There is Be My Tweet Heart, which I think would be cute on this, especially with the heart background, but I actually opted to go with a birthday sentiment to make it more of an anytime type card. And I used a birdie told me it's your birthday, and then I'm using one year older and wiser too underneath that. And here's a look at the finished cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this video featuring the Spellbinders Seasonal Birdhouses. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Spellbinders products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.